Here is Nusida's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 43 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Low-code, no-code. Testing platforms, low-code and no-code testing tools rank at number 10 due to their growing but still niche adoption in 2025, as highlighted in several blog posts and trend reports from early October. While not dominating discussions this week, they appear in forward-looking articles about democratizing QA, with moderate mentions in social media posts about simplifying test creation for non-technical users. Their relevance stems from enabling faster prototyping amid rising development speeds, but they lack the high engagement seen in more transformative topics like AI. My advice, if you're integrating low-code platforms into your QA workflow, start by selecting tools that integrate seamlessly with existing CI-CD pipelines, such as AskUI, Mabel, or Testum, to avoid silos. Focus on training teams to use these for rapid test creation in agile environments, but always complement them with traditional scripting for complex scenarios. This hybrid approach ensures accessibility without sacrificing depth, reducing onboarding time for new team members while maintaining test reliability. Prediction for the next three months. Over the next three months, low-code, no-code testing will see increased adoption in small to medium enterprises, driven by budget constraints and the need for quick iterations, potentially integrating more AI features for auto-generation. However, challenges like limited customization may lead to a plateau, with major updates from vendors addressing scalability to push mainstream use by early 2026. 9. Memory Safety and Software Verification This topic ranks ninth based on specific but impactful mentions in social media posts and surveys from mid-October, such as discussions on memory safety becoming a baseline requirement for mission-critical software. It gained traction in niche threads about embedded systems and quality assurance, with lower overall volume but strong relevance to ongoing debates on software reliability, especially in industries like automotive and healthcare. My advice? To prioritize memory safety, adopt languages like Rust, or use tools such as Trust and Soft for exhaustive verification early in development. Conduct regular code audits focusing on pointers as well as buffers, and integrate static analysis into your build process. This proactive stance not only prevents vulnerabilities, but also builds trust in high-stakes applications saving costs on post-release fixes. Prediction for the next three months. In the coming three months, memory safety will gain momentum through regulatory pushes, like potential updates to standards in the EU, leading to more tools and frameworks emerging. Adoption will accelerate in critical sectors, with a 20-30% increase in related training programs, setting the stage for it to become a standard checklist item in QA processes by Q1 2026. 8. Visual and Performance Testing Enhancements Ranking 8. Visual and Performance Testing saw consistent but not overwhelming coverage this week, with social media posts on false positives in visual tests and blog snippets emphasizing UX metrics integration. Engagement was moderate, as in BrowserStack's newsletter on AI-powered visual testing, reflecting its importance in user-centric apps but secondary to broader AI trends. My advice? Enhance visual testing by leveraging AI tools like AppliTools or AskUI to minimize false positives and combine them with performance metrics using platforms like Headspin for real device testing. 
Regularly simulate diverse user environments to catch issues early, ensuring your tests align with business KPIs like load times under two seconds, which directly impacts user retention. Prediction for the next three months. The next three months will see visual and performance testing evolve with better AI integration for predictive analytics, reducing manual reviews by 40%. As mobile usage surges, tools will focus on cross-device optimization, leading to standardized benchmarks that influence App Store rankings by spring 2026. 7. Compliance and Regulatory QA in BFSI this topic is seventh due to targeted discussions in social media and blogs about embedding compliance into QA, particularly for BFSI, banking, financial services, and insurance apps, with mentions in Headspin's post and trend reports. It has steady relevance amid global data privacy laws, but lower buzz compared to tech-driven topics, though it's critical for risk-averse sectors. My advice for compliance-focused QA Implement automated checks using frameworks like Selenium integrated with regulatory scanners and conduct frequent audits aligned with standards like GDPR or PCI DSS. Collaborate with legal teams from the design phase to build traceable documentation, minimizing audit failures and ensuring seamless releases in regulated industries. Prediction for the next three months, over the next three months, Compliance QA will intensify with upcoming regulations like AI-specific laws, prompting tools to add built-in traceability features. Adoption in fintech will rise by 25%, with predictive compliance analytics becoming common, paving the way for automated certification processes in 2026. 6. Test Metrics and Analytics Ranking 6th Test metrics featured in social media posts about AI testing metrics and blog takeaways on defect density and MTTR with engagements in QAN test conference previews. It's a foundational topic gaining traction for data-driven decisions, but not as viral as AI applications appearing in roundups from early October. My advice, leverage metrics like code coverage and escape rate with tools such as SonarCube, setting baselines, and using dashboards for real-time insights. Focus on actionable analytics by tying them to business outcomes, like reducing downtime to justify QA investments and foster a culture of continuous improvement across teams. Prediction for the next three months. In the next three months, AI-enhanced metrics will dominate, with tools predicting defects via machine learning, increasing accuracy by 30%. This will lead to more integrated analytics in CI-CD, making metrics a core part of agile retrospectives and influencing hiring for data-savvy QA roles by mid-2026. 5. Security and Penetration Testing Fifth place goes to security testing, prominent in social media threads on DevSecOps and blog trends emphasizing OWASP updates for 2025. High relevance this week with mentions in vulnerability assessments and penetration testing as must-knows, driven by rising cyber threats, though engagement varies. My advice, embed security testing early via shift left practices using tools like OWASP Zap for automated scans and Burp Suite for manual pen tests. Train teams on common vulnerabilities and integrate findings into sprints ensuring a blameless culture to encourage reporting and rapid fixes for robust defense. Prediction for the next three months. The next three months will see penetration testing tools incorporate more AI for threat simulation with a 35% uptick in adoption due to high profile breaches. This will evolve into mandatory DevSecOps certifications, strengthening supply chain security and becoming integral to cloud migrations by 2026. 4. DevOps and QA Integration, QA Ops This ranks fourth from frequent social media discussions on QA Dev Balance, CI, CD, and blog emphasis on converging shift-left-right approaches. Engagements and posts about unified platforms like Quiris highlight its role in speeding releases, making it a hot integration topic this week. My advice? Adopt QA Ops by embedding QA and DevOps pipelines with tools like Jenkins for automated workflows, promoting cross-functional teams to align on quality gates. Use blameless postmortems to refine processes, 
reducing cycle times while maintaining high standards, and fostering collaboration for innovative solutions. Prediction for the next three months. Over the next three months, QA Ops will mature with agenic orchestration, cutting triage time by 50% in large teams. Expect more open source contributions, leading to standardized frameworks that dominate enterprise adoption with full integration in microservices by late 2026. Three, shift left and shift right testing. This topic ranks third due to a strong presence in social media and blogs on continuous quality loops with high engagement in methodology debates and trend forecasts. It's a core evolution topic this week, bridging development and production for resilient software. My advice, implement shift left by involving QA in requirements gathering with tools like Cucumber for BDD and shift right via production monitoring with Sentry. Balance both to create feedback loops, ensuring tests cover real user scenarios and accelerating iterations without compromising quality. Prediction for the next three months. In the next three months, shift left right will blend further with AI observability, reducing production issues by 40%. This hybrid model will become standard in agile teams with tools evolving for seamless transitions, influencing global standards like ISTQB updates in 2026. Two, self-healing and AI-driven test automation ranking. Second, self-healing tests dominated social media posts on AI frameworks and blog snippets on reducing maintenance with notable engagements in TestRig's articles. It's a buzzing practical application this week addressing flaky tests amid rapid changes. My advice, integrate self-healing into automation suites using tools like AskUI, TestRigger, or Playwright, focusing on AI to adapt to UI changes automatically. Combine with human oversight for edge cases, optimizing for scalability and cutting maintenance by half while ensuring tests remain interpretable for debugging. Prediction for the next three months. The next three months will witness self-healing tech advance with better ML models, achieving 90% auto-resolution rates. Vendors will release hybrid versions, expanding to mobile and API, solidifying their role in codeless testing and driving efficiency gains through 2026. 1. AI-powered testing and quality assurance AI in testing tops the list with overwhelming mentions across social media e.g. Apple's agentic system, and blogs on trends like predictive QA, boasting high engagements on efficiency gains. It's the most discussed topic this week, revolutionizing QA amid software complexity. My advice, harness AI for test generation and orchestration with platforms like Codo AI, starting small on regression suites before scaling. Emphasize ethical use by validating AI outputs manually initially, and upskill teams on prompting to maximize accuracy, ultimately boosting release speeds and reducing defects. Prediction for the next three months. Over the next three months, AI-powered testing will explode with multi-agent systems becoming commonplace, improving accuracy to 95% in enterprises. Challenges like hallucination will spur refined models, leading to widespread integration in open source tools and reshaping QA roles by 2026. Looking ahead to 2026 and 2027, software quality will likely pivot toward quantum resilient testing as quantum computing matures, emphasizing encryption and simulation tools to counter new threats. Sustainability in QA will emerge as a key focus, with green testing optimizing energy use in cloud environments and reducing carbon footprints through efficient automation. Agentic AI ecosystems will dominate, enabling fully autonomous QA pipelines that self-optimize, while ethical AI governance becomes mandatory, incorporating bias detection and transparency metrics. By 2027, expect hyper-personalized testing via user data analytics, blending ARVR for immersive simulations, and a surge in collaborative global standards to address the ongoing quality collapse narrative. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. 
Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.